Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the day is uh, well spent. The evening is approaching. And uh, we don't want to delay you any further, so I'm going to make my speech very short. Uh, in 1961, a man called uh, Peter Benenson heard that uh, at that time uh, in Spain uh, there was a dictator. And three young people had been um, arrested because they had, they had held their glasses to peace, to justice, and to freedom. Peter Benenson was a young lawyer at that time. He didn't know any of these uh, young people. But he wrote a letter that went to one of the uh, British tabloids. And within one month, this letter had spread to over 30 countries in Europe and about three countries in Africa. Within six months, the word had gone all around the world that three people, three young men, had been arrested. That was the beginning of uh, an organization that I work for called Amnesty International. At the end of the sixth month, several countries had subscribed to become members of Amnesty International as human rights defenders. Currently, we have over 7.5 million people around the world that subscribe to what we work on, treating people with dignity and respect. I remember in 1945, somebody wrote a poem. This man is called Christian Nomila. And it reminded me because of the young ladies that, um, that um, had just come out of the stage with the play. It was about, uh, it was very angry that people did not stand up to Hitler. And he said that when they came for the Jews, I was not there because I did not speak because I wasn't a Jew. When they came for the Christians, I did not speak because I wasn't a Christian. When they, be, when they came for the socialists, I did not speak because I wasn't a socialist. We can actually reenact that poetry to reflect on what we are going through right now. That when they came for the Somalis, I did not speak because I'm not a Somali. When they came for the Kikuyus, I did not speak because I'm not a Kikuyu. And I think what Linda said this afternoon was so awesome so big. When they came for the Luos, I did not speak because I'm not a Luo. And uh, Christian Nomla ended by saying, when they came for me, there was nobody to speak. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here for one another. We have to speak for each other and to defend rights of people. That people need to be treated with dignity and respect. Out there, we have some young people 
that we work with from the university and from other uh, groups. It is written, The Brave. The t-shirt that they have on their chest is written, The Brave. And uh, because uh, I am going to just stop just about now, I would like the brave to come, the Wasani. Mr. Sitati, you'll give me just two more minutes. These are, this is a, a group of people that are working to defend rights of people in universities, the informal settlements in Nairobi and other places. And they have a message that I wanted them to share with you. It's going to take just about one and a half minutes to two minutes. You'll bear with me. And the Brave is a campaign on human rights defenders. If you feel that you want to be part of the Brave to defend rights of people, this is the time to also work with them, but work with the team that we have put together to ensure that in Kenya, people will defend one another, not fight against each other. Young people are out there, and they are taking names and addresses of people that would like to be part of that and work on the platform that we have created. Please, when you go out, see them and record your name and addresses. No money is required. Ladies and gentlemen, may I wish you the very best in your elections, in our elections in August 8, uh, 2017, that it will be a time that we will, as Kenyans, say we have done it. Thank you very much. So before we start, I would wish everyone to like our page on Facebook. We are Wasani Sana Youth Organization, and we're based in Kibera Informal Settlements where we do human rights uh, issues there. Currently, we've been doing with Amnesty an issue on extrajudicial killings, and that is actually what has brought us here. We're proving to be brave in the fight against violation on human rights. Taza Maria Gayetu, Tunayosifika Duniani Kote, David Rudisha, Jenimo, Kemoe, Nakitoge, Nishani Tukazizeba, Wakiuriza Wenzawetu, Che, Mmeshinwaje, Na Wakenya. I, I, I don't know, Amani Kikosekana, Mazoezu Tatana, Sifa Tumizopata, Hu, Tuazipoteza. Riyadha Viwanjani, Sasa imo manyumbani, wamkimbia jirani. Vita hivi, ni vya nini? Jamani, amani. Ungezuru viwanjani, nyayo, au kasarani. Vya bara au vya pwani, ni Michael Lulunga. Wanga kimpapasi, ka hata hati. Kwa wanyama wenda kasi, jesa ya kipasi, neti wanyebesi. Mcheza dima halisi. Pasi <laughs> Ndizi meru kama taka Nazi pwani ukitaka Magaribi sukarisi shaka Soko huwa na pendeza Pamoja tukitandaza Chuki kitawala Ajiro ufifiana Ufisari tuwini Tukapoteza makini 
Biche biche ni anini, tutakayo ni amani. Biche biche ni anini, tuambayo ni amani. Biche biche ni anini, tutaminio ni amani. Sote ni wa Kenya, si viongozi, si raia. Sote tupendane, si maskini, si tajiri. Sote tusameane, si wa islamu, si wa kristu. Sote tukumatiane, si weusi, si weupe. Sote tuzumuziane, si makabila, si mataifa. Na kwa pamoja sisi ni kitu kimoja Lazima tupitishe letu hoja Tuwe na lengo moja Na kuleta amani Kenya Hakuna tena kuwana Hakuna tena kuchomana Hakuna tena kulaumiana Kwa sababu sisi sote ni wa Kenya <tos>